say good evening, Jamley? Yeah, I have not, not even recorded. Oh. Hey, Jamley. So, I have not picked up the camera at all today. One, I just woke up. Um, it's late now, but I did take a nap. But here's the reason I did not vlog today. I was on a phone. Uh-uh, don't put it in the fridge. Um, I was on the phone for a long time today. We did a big meeting for Sarah's school. Can you get out of the way, though? Um, already? It's still too early for you to go to bed. I know, but it's still early. But anyway, so... I know we've talked to you guys a bit about before, <sighs> sorry, and about how Sarah has struggled in school for a long time. And so we have been repeatedly real persistent with the school, trying to get Sarah some assistance, trying to get like the teachers and the district and anybody to listen that Sarah was having some struggles when it comes to learning and nobody would listen for four years out here since we've been back out here nobody listened well when i finally pulled her from the public school district and put her on homeschool we finally got like somebody to realize when sarah took her assessments to be on the homeschool program that something was definitely off finally finally they finally got through all of Sarah's testing these last two months and have realized and have approved Sarah for the special education program and for her to go ahead and have an IEP as opposed to just a 504 plan. Um, and I like when she finally said it on the phone when the when I see how many times I can say finally um, when the special education instructor for the AZ virtual academy um, did Sarah's paperwork today for our final meeting, she said, Sarah definitely qualifies for an IEP. And I was like, this weight just came off my shoulders. It was like an overwhelming amount of joy. And of course I was in tears at that point because watching Sarah struggle in school, watching her every day lose more and more faith in the school system watching her fall apart and cry at the end of each day because she's so flustered and so confused was heartbreaking watching that part of your child struggle and nobody listen is heartbreaking i'm glad that it's fine like it's finally done like she's going to be able to get better at school and she's going to have the proper you know set of tools and um, I think what I want people to take away from that today is that if your child is struggling in school, you need to, don't stop. Like you need to fight for them. You need to push for them because they can't do it themselves. And they can't go above and beyond to push the system to get them to listen. It, it's, it is on you as the parent. And I'm just like, I was so overwhelmed with grief watching her fall apart each day and her throwing her hands up and starting to give up. Like she was giving up. Sarah had like got to a point where she was just giving up. And I want you guys to know that as parents, you got to push it. You got to, you got to be their voice and don't ever, ever, ever stop until somebody hears you until somebody says, okay, this is going to get, we're going to get something done. Um, Sarah also had uh, wrote an email to her homeroom teacher and told her that she was just done and they that they needed to leave her alone that quit asking her for more work and quit asking her to do more stuff because why should she do more stuff when nobody wants to listen to her in the first place and she was so flustered and the homeroom teacher said that it was like a red flag that this child had given up completely on her education and I said, I had told you guys that before. I told you guys that before we got into this program that Sarah was, she was, uh, she quit. She just, in her mind, she was done. So we get to take the summer now. Today's, um, well, tomorrow's the last day of school and she gradu she's already done her graduation ceremony on the 17th, which was awesome. <sighs> 
It wasn't something I could film because it was done online. So I couldn't really film it. It was just them announcing Sarah, putting the slideshow thing, letting them know that Sarah had graduated. So yeah, she did graduate eighth grade. Um, but my baby is now officially a freshman and she is officially um, set up through the Insight homeschool program. So I think that's all I want to be able to look back on and, and realize that today, May 23rd of 2016, I, as Sarah's mom, pushed until this system, until the district did something. And my child repeatedly showed through everything that they've thrown her into that there's an issue. Today, May 23rd, 2016, my daughter finally was approved for an IEP. So don't give up, you guys. And don't ever, ever, ever let your child's education get pushed to the back burner because of somebody's agenda. Okay? So if you guys like this video and you guys are proud of the fact that this finally happened, like Sarah's finally getting the assistance she needs for school, give it that thumbs up. And if you guys are new to our channel and you have not done so already, click that subscribe button. Come back, see us again tomorrow. We vlog it every day, whether things are good bad or sometimes even boring and hey guys thanks again yeah i know we had to do this all over again <laughs> smell like <it. laughs> okay anyway taylor go ahead i know that taylor ucla which for video games yeah that's awesome and what about you you already said what it was but they didn't